Hello colleagues, uh, so this is demo about using oscilloscope. Embedded oscilloscope can be found here and here. So these two are very powerful tools and uh, they are used in order to check the strength and quality of the ultrasonic signal between the beacons and in general monitor their uh, let's say background noise if you have very noisy background. So what you do, you go to view, you go to oscilloscope and then you select the beacon which you are using for testing and signal from beacon. So now beacon number 5 emits ultrasonic sound and beacon number 4 is receiving. So this is a very good signal. As you see uh, my beacon number 4 has a distance to number 5 around 4 point something meters. How uh, precisely 4.7, you see 4.7 meters. Uh, so this is how the signal looks. If I want to see how uh, in opposite direction, so I simply press here. So this is my opposite direction, they are virtually the same. So signal from number 4 to number 5, and this is from number 5 to number 4. If I want to monitor, for example, number 5, so I can easily go to number 3. Okay, the picture changed. As you see, now it's not so great, because uh, for some reason the direct path is pretty weak. So, for example, if I choose now the stress hold on level 8 or 800, it would be a very problematic for me. Because my threshold would trigger somewhere here or here. So, in this case, it will be wrong. I better to choose threshold on the level of 200 or 300. In this case, this will be triggering my first real one. But in this case, I would rather check why is it so. There is either indirect path or something. So there must be a reason why the signal which is not direct, it's rather echo, much stronger than the first signal. This is the good indication that you can monitor uh, and should monitor the signal. For example, I may try even to choose uh, different settings here. Um, for instance, number three, no, I don't know, it's not clear, but I may choose, for example, to deselect some of these and leave only one left. So in this case, you see, signal increased significantly. So, uh, because my RX1, RX2, RX3 loaded RX4, but didn't contribute to the signal strength. Now the signal is improved. You see the uh, signal is fluctuating because automatic gain control automatically adjusts the signal. But now the signal is much better. Because the direct path is now a good one, but it doesn't receive the echo from somewhere. So it's very good to check their, uh, when you have a problem, for example, the table is not white or you have some concerns. You just go to the oscilloscope and select the beacons or select the sensors which are useful which are receiving the signal and uh, deselect those that are not needed. Uh, notice once again that there's yellow. Yellow is not a problem or orange is not a problem simply because it indicates that settings of beacon number three and settings of other beacons are not the same. So if I return this back, they will become green again. Okay, now the system adjusts the gain, so it takes some time, but all of this is green. So, uh, it's also useful uh, when you have, for example, the map frozen, like in this case. When the map frozen, now you could enable, for example, the mobile beacon, but you see that mobile beacon is jumping in some area. Not a problem. Just install the mobile beacon on the tripod, set in that problematic area, and once again go. For example, uh, I can set now their uh, unfreeze. And I can choose beacon number four to be, oh sorry, to be uh, active, or the mobile beacon. So now it's mobile beacon. I have a map consisting of two beacons. It's 2D map. I can freeze it. So now mobile uh, four, even though it used to be station, now it's mobile beacon. And for example, I have concerns about mobile no beacon four. Okay, so I can easily check. So I select beacon number four and check how the beacon number four is seen by my stationary beacons. So this is how my stationary beacon three sees it. 
okay, she's pretty well. So automatic gain control keeps their gain very low. But you see, there's almost no noise and automatically choose the threshold. I don't know where exactly, but I guess somewhere here. And beacon number five sees, okay, also pretty well. So now, okay, it's easy map, easy situation. Signal is clear, so this is echo, but my first signal is here. So in this way, if you have a problematic area, just put your mobile beacon in that problematic area. Uh, select the oscilloscope from here and then check the signal quality. And if the signal quality is not perfect or your threshold is not optimal, play with ultrasonic threshold, move it instead of automatic and here automatic to manual, select anyway. So for example, the thre threshold for this would be between probably 70 or maybe even less up to 300. So there's pretty wide range of threshold. Here, as you see, minimum threshold is 550. So probably it keeps on 50 because the noise is so low that it can be as low as 50. Um, now, that's it about the oscilloscope. We have another one, which is uh, N-channel oscilloscope, but it's more powerful and uh, let's discuss it in the next video.